Let me introduce the first speaker, Massimo Marini. Good education. Good education. Massimo Marini. Good education. Good education. This was usually say my grandfather when was meeting me each Sunday. And I believe it was true. Education is a key of success, is a key of a future. But when I say education, I say even sexual education. <laughs> yes, because sexual education is the key for a normal, happy and cheerful life. You ever saw a result of bad sexual education? <laughs> yeah, that's me. Don't smile. Come on. <laughs> and believe or not, what they are saying, it's keep a sign for us for all the rest of our life. You remember this fairy tale? But <laughs> did I still smell cabbage or not? No. OK, so I was not born from a cabbage. But no one was really telling me the truth. And if no one is teaching you, you start to search the truth. You start to search what you are looking for. And so I did when I was at school. Long, long, long time ago. When at school, it was people wearing short pants. So I met finally a person which really liked it. She was wonderful, gorgeous. She was sit close to me. Oh, a miracle, an angel. <laughs> we had a huge attraction, but we didn't know what to do it. But this carnal attraction was so strong, so tough, that, well, one day we did. She was looking in my eyes, and she started pinching me. I say, gosh, what is that? And, and suddenly I realized, maybe this is what adults are doing. And I said to pinch her, and she was pinching me, and I was pinching her. And that was our first experience. <laughs> As I told you, we didn't know what to do. But some days after, when our parents and teachers saw us all the skin dark, with blue, and uh, big maculation on top, they divide us. And then I remember now why adults are using long pants <laughs> to show and cover this maculation. By the way, we keep apart, and my interest for the girls dressed of pink finish. <laughs> I was not yet sure convinced, but one day, basically, it was another opportunity. The bigger friends always saying, hey, Women was, but I could not figure out what was I missing of my education. And when I start to think and walk out, can come of this gap, I will fill this gap. I have to find something to learn more. And one day I saw it. I saw a publication. And I was sure that reading this stuff, I could know everything which I was possible to know my life would be changed and I really could able to discover the truth. I took it and when I took it I would say the face of a person was quite strange. Hmm, such things? At your age? But what are you doing with these things? Are you sure? I say, oh, oh, mm. But I manage. I don't know how I manage. Then I run at home as fast as possible. I start to be <sighs> A bit excited. I was really emotional and I was really intensively stressed. At this point, I arrived at home and said, cool down, cool down, keep, keep calm, keep calm. Nothing, nothing happened. Let's see the same element. Don't change your behavior, otherwise your mom realizes something. <sighs> <laughs> Big breath, open the door. Hi, ma'am, I'm here. She immediately noticed something strange in me. What the <laughs> hell is saying hello today? Well, normally doesn't say anything like that. <laughs> what the hell is happening here? And she started to look at me very carefully and 
say, okay, now plan B. Oh, I think we should froze slowing down and really keep a bit things passing away. I tried to be normal, but the tension was high. I was something here that I want to see, but it was not possible because my mom was still looking around and hope down, seeing, and checking me in any time, in any moment. What the hell? Mom, you need something to buy? You need to go outside? You need so No, no, he's happy. And then I had a marvelous idea. Let's go in my home to do homework. Mom, I got to do my homework. And she said, what the hell? Homework? This guy? No, forget about it. <laughs> Suddenly I enter. <sighs> Silent. I check around. It was nobody there. <sighs> I forgot to close the curtain, somebody outside can see it, and I was almost ready to take it. When the door slammed, I made a jam. My mom said, what are you doing there? Uh, uh, and I had no excuse, it was already here. Um, I have a medical encyclopedia. <laughs> <laughs> My mom did not understand. Fortunately, but I knew what I was looking for, and I was a bit sad when I start to see figure like that. <laughs> I say, this is so attractive. Well, what they are doing, these guys? Huh? Why they're always talking about women? And my again self-personal education collapsed for the next time. But here, I want to conclude with you on some remarks. You realize now how it's important to have a good sexual education. It's extremely important, not only for us, but for the whole society. And you know why? Because currently, natality birth is going down and down and down and down, and the couples are not, not anymore doing kids. Did you ever thought about why we don't have any more kids? Because now couples keep pinching one to each other without doing anything. <laughs> Thank you very much.